My name is Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. I'm here today to talk about the minimum screed thickness over insulation. When we talk about uh, a minimum thickness, then generally we would look at uh, the type of floor construction that you have. And in this case, it's over insulation. When it's over insulation, it's normally termed as floating. Uh, but you can imagine, because you, it's on insulation, you've got a certain amount to give. Within the uh, insulation, it will have a strength rating. So it will have a, a, what they call a KPA value. So generally a domestic property will have a minimum KPA of uh, 70 and a commercial operation generally starts at 100. Now, the higher the KPA, the stronger the, the insulation is. So that's a factor uh, that possibly when, when it's designed, that's something that depending on what the loading is going to be on the project, that might need to be looked at. But looking in broad terms, what is the, uh, the, the minimum depths for uh, screed on top of insulation? So if we look at the, the, the different groups of screed, so first of all, if we look at flowing screeds, liquid screeds, as they're sometimes called flow screeds, uh, which is generally the, the calcium sulfate version of the, uh, of the product, you, you're looking at 35 mil minimum on domestic, 40 mil if it's a commercial project. So for, for sand and cement, uh, if we look at a, a modified sand and cement screed, so that's a, a, a screed with admixtures in, and you'd, you'd look at 35 mil as minimum. Now that's 35 mil for a rapid strength product. So if you're looking to, to get on the project very quickly from a point of trafficking and actually loading, then that's the project uh, the the product that you would be uh, looking at. If we keep on sand and cement, and we again we're looking at modified sand and cement, but this time we're looking at a fast drying product. You're going to be looking at 40 mil as uh, as minimum. So that's one with uh, hydraulic binders uh, with, within the mix, and that's a fast drying project. Uh, product. So if you're looking to get your floor coverings on very, very quickly and you haven't got the time to wait, then a fast drying product can go down at 40 mil. Uh, traditional sand and cement screed, so that's a one to four, one to three mix. Then you're looking at 65 mil for domestic and 75 mil for commercial are the recommended minimums. So I hope that's uh, giving you some pointers and if you have any further questions, we'd only be too happy to uh, assist. Thank you.